Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to use an iPad to create a layout with images and text. And the app I'm going to use is called Adobe Comp. It's a free app provided by Adobe. I try using many layout apps, but I use this one the most because you can create a design in the most intuitive way, so I highly recommend it. Today, we are going to make these four layers. First, open Adobe Comp. Click on the plus button on the bottom right to choose from a list of default canvases. Today, we are going with the one that's 1280 wide. You can choose a custom size as well. When making layouts, drawing circles and squares make shapes. Drawing an X inside a square creates a placeholder for images. If you want text, draw lines and a dot. Moving the slider on the edge will change the size of the text. Opening the settings will show you the other gestures. Use it as a reference when creating objects. And scribbling over the images like this will delete the shapes. This time, I want to start with a longer canvas, so I created a new A4 size canvas. I want to put an image on the background, so I draw a square and put an X inside it to create a placeholder. There is a button on the bottom left to insert images. From there, insert a photo of your choice. I want to place a picture of perfume on top of it, so draw another placeholder and insert the image. To change the size of the image inside, double tap the image. Tapping it once will change the size of the image itself. We are adding another image to put a border on the perfume. Create another placeholder and insert another image. That makes the new image the topmost layer. To change the order of the layers, tap the button here and use the slider to make adjustments. Next, we are going to use a wide image. So create a new canvas that's wide. Draw a placeholder by drawing a square and an X. I'm going to use a solid color on the left side. So just draw a square for that without the X. Choose a color for the background. Adjust so that the canvas is split into two. We are inserting the same image on the left, the same as the right one. Double tap and zoom in using your hand to make the image bigger. Next, I'm going to explain how to make strokes. Strokes are basically the lines. To draw borders, draw a rectangle and choose the stroke item and turn it on to customize the color and size. And once you're done, make the gray part transparent by adjusting the opacity and making it zero. And this is pretty much how you can make strokes. Next, we are adding text. Draw a line and a dot on the bottom right of the line. You can adjust the size and then type your text.
Once you're done, open the editing menu from the button to adjust the font and line intervals as well as centering. You can download fonts from Adobe Typekit, so check it out if you're interested. You can adjust the letter spacing and line intervals from here. We are going to fast forward a bit from here as we build the layout. Alright, now we are going to create something like a mock-up. Insert an image from the top right. Insert an image of an iMac or an iPhone. I want to insert a logo as well, so I'm going to draw a placeholder. If you draw a placeholder, insert the image from the button on the bottom. Adjust it so that the size fits the borders of the image. If you look at the iPhone, you will notice its edges are curved. In that case, draw an image placeholder, but draw a circle on the bottom right corner of it to create a rectangular image placeholder with rounded edges. If you insert an image in this, the image will be placed in a rectangle with rounded edges. There are two images right now, so to select multiple images, Draw a swell over the two images to select both at once. Lastly, if you want to link these images to apps like Photoshop or Illustrator, use the button on the top to send to Photoshop or Illustrator. Just tap the button to send it over the cloud. When you open it on your Mac or computer, the image will pop up. It's really convenient, so try it out. To save the image, tap the share button to save it. In terms of what I referenced for the layouts I used today, I searched editorial and editorial design on Pinterest. So this is something you can reference when you create your design as well. That's all for today's introduction on Adobe Comp. Thank you for watching!
バイバイ。